वेलकम बैक हियर आर द टॉप 21 फ्रीक्वेंटली आस्क इंटरव्यू क्वेश्चंस अबाउट डीप आरोशन टनल यूज्ड इन फार्मास्यूटिकल इंडस्ट्री सब्सक्राइब टू चैनल फॉर मोर इंफॉर्मेटिव कंटेंट वी विल स्टार्ट विद द वेरी बेसिक क्वेश्चंस एंड देन गो इन डिटेल फर्स्ट बेसिक क्वेश्चन व्हाट इज एंडोटॉक्सिन एंड व्हाई डीप आरोशन प्रोसेस इज इंपॉर्टेंट आंसर इज एंडोटॉक्सिन इज द नेचुरल heat stable lipopolysaccharide contained in outer walls of the gram negative bacteria endotoxins are released into environment during bacterial cell death lysis growth and multiplication pyrogens are substances that can produce fever the most common pyrogens are endotoxins reaction to endotoxins can lead to anaphylactic shock and death of the patient hence Deparation process is very important in injectable manufacturing. Second basic question why we do deparation of glassware like vials, ampoules and glass bottles. Answer is deparation process is a process to remove pyrogens. Deparation of glassware like vials, ampoules and glass bottles is important in parental production as residual pyrogens could ultimately be injected into patient resulting in an adverse reaction third basic question how does deparation tunnel works answer is the equipment uses dry heat as a deparation method dry heat destroys endotoxins through the physical destruction method of the endotoxin molecule fourth important question what are the different zones in deparation tunnel You can refer below schematic diagram to understand the different zones of deparation tunnel. After washing machine where washing of vials or ampoules happens, washed ampoules or vials comes into the deparation tunnel's first zone that is infill zone. From infill zone vials or ampoules goes to next zone that is heating zone and further they move to cooling zone. After this deparation tunnel This deparagenated vials or ampoules goes for further filling process. Fifth important question what are the significance of various zones of deparation tunnel? First zone is inlet chamber. The inlet chamber with its laminar flow unit keeps the clean the transfer of glassware from the washing machine to the hot chamber. It dries and preheats glassware and protects from the hot air coming back from the hot chamber. Next zone is hot chamber. Hot chamber subjects glassware to the thermal cycle for the deparagenation. Third zone is cooling chamber. The cooling chamber cools the glassware to the suitable temperature to be discharged into the sterile room or isolator. Sixth question: Which zone has maximum zone pressure or chamber pressure? Answer is heating zone has maximum chamber pressure in the deparagenation tunnel. Air always flow from heating zone to adjacent zones that is heating zone to infill zone or heating zone to cooling zone next important question what are the qualification tests done for the deparation tunnel here are the six important qualification tests for deparation tunnel has been mentioned first is air flow velocity test second filter system leakage test third tunnel belt or conveyor speed verification test fourth non viable particle count test fifth heat penetration and endotoxin challenge test and sixth differential study test eighth question what is basic requirement of maintaining pressure zones in deparation tunnel answer is basic use of maintaining pressure difference in various chambers of deparation tunnel is to restrict air flow from dirty zone to clean zone that is restricting air flow towards heating or sterilization zone Next important question why we check non viable particle count in deparation tunnel answer is the purpose of checking non viable particle count in deparation tunnel is to ensure cleanliness of the supplied air the particle counts taken under hepa filter in the different zones of sterilizing tunnel should meet the requirements of iso 5 or class a next question why we check conveyor speed of deparation tunnel and what is acceptance criteria answer is tunnel conveyor speed will help to establish a required exposure time under the high temperature 
it is important to get depolarization effect the acceptance criteria for the convex speed is speed shall not be vary more than 3% of the set speed next question whether it is necessary to use all available container configurations or sizes during initial qualification answer is yes all the container configurations or the sizes needs to be considered during initial qualification study worst case challenge can be done in further periodic qualifications 12th question what is recommended depolarization tunnel temperature answer is as per usp recommended depolarization by dry heat for a 3 log reduction of endotoxin requires 250 degree celsius for 30 minute however during commercial production use temperature of 310 degree celsius plus or minus 10 degree can be used as acceptance criteria and can be validated next one is very frequently asked question which indicator is used for depolarization tunnel efficiency check answer is endotoxin indicator containing 10000 eu per vial is used for depolarization tunnel efficiency check and endotoxin indicator is a carrier to which a known amount of endotoxin is added and is used to measure endotoxin reduction or inactivation in a depolarization process 14th question which guidelines are referred for depolarization tunnel answer is pds technical report number 3 which is titled as validation of dry heat processes used for depolarization and sterilization is referred for depolarization tunnel qualifications and usage next one is guidance 117 for sterilization and depolarization tunnel along with it usp chapter 1 to 11 is referred for depolarization tunnel 15th question what is purpose of performing filter system leakage test for depolarization tunnel answer is the purpose of doing filter system leakage test for depolarization tunnel is to ensure that filter system is properly installed and that leaks have not been developed during their routine use next important question what is acceptance criteria for air velocity test for depolarization tunnel answer is the acceptance criteria for air velocity test for depolarization tunnel is as follows average velocity across the hepa filter should be within the range of 90 plus or minus 20% of fpm that is feet per minute next question what is acceptance criteria for empty chamber heat distribution usp chapter number 1211 has mentioned for empty chamber heat distribution test it describes dry heat ovens and tunnel ovens which utilizes heated hepa filtered air distributed by convection or radiation and blower system and a system for controlling critical parameters it notes that temperature may vary by 15 degree celsius in an empty chamber at 250 degree celsius or above next very frequently asked question what should be the qualification frequency for depolarization tunnel answer is periodic qualification of depolarization tunnel shall be done based on the criticality assessment as per the plant specific sop however as depolarization tunnel is an critical equipment as it has a direct impact on the product quality shall be qualified 6 monthly next very frequently asked question what should be the action plan in case of depolarization tunnel breakdown answer is in case of breakdown or sudden stoppage of depolarization tunnel depolarizated vials or ampoules can be used for filling which are in cooling zone in case of major breakdown washing and depolarization run can be repeated to avoid any impact on the product quality in such cases fresh vials also can be issued against the material requisition note next important question what are the performance qualification run requirements for depolarization tunnel answer is a minimum of 3 temperature distribution runs on an empty chamber to confirm heating uniformity and identify the slowest to heat zone second heat penetration runs on each different load configuration including minimum and maximum loads to identify cold spots and worst case load configuration third a minimum 3 consecutive successful runs 
using worst case load configuration using minimum cycle parameters and biological indicators and meeting all validated acceptance criteria last question can filtration process remove pyrogens it's common thinking that filtration process can't remove pyrogens comment me what is actual fact keep watching farm grow subscribe to channel for more videos related to our pharmaceutical industry